New tonight, the Pine Tree Country Club once again opens to golfers, but a memorial sits on the 10th green where three men were found dead on Saturday. Tonight, officials identified the third victim, but there are still lots of questions about what happened. CBS 46's Adam Murphy, he joins us live now, and Adam, neighbors are still shaken up about this. Neighbors and golfers shaken up over this, Sean. I'll tell you, it's quite disturbing. And a short while ago, there was a dark cloud that blew over, dumping a lot of rain in this area. You'll see down there, there's a memorial just before the 10th green. That dark cloud I was talking about is eerily symbolic of what this community has been dealing with over the past few days. Just a shame, yeah. just a shame. Bob Fuller and so many others stopped at the 10th green to pay their respects to Pine Tree Golf Pro Gene Siller. We were just talking as we came up here about the, the tragedy and, and how senseless this whole thing was. Siller was shot and killed here Saturday when he happened upon a crime in progress. It does not appear he was a target. Cobb County police found a white pickup truck stuck in a sand trap near the green with two other dead bodies in the back of the truck when they arrived. A little disappointed that it were three days, four days now since the uh, incident, and we still don't have any idea as to why. I mean, we, you know, the fact that there was some other bodies in the truck, that's one thing I understand, but why, why was he even here? He being the guy driving the truck. Police identified one of the bodies in the back of the truck as 46 year old Henry Valdez of California. The other was 76 year old Paul Pearson of Kansas, who was the owner of the truck, and the third victim. 46 year old Eugene Siller. There's no question that Gene coming up when he did saved, I'm sure saved lives because there were other people on the golf course who were playing that would have been coming up this way. Uh, I know some guys that were getting ready to play the hole. The golf course reopened Wednesday with the exception of hole 10. Meanwhile, detectives continue to track down leads, stating the suspect is not a threat to the public. The only description of the killer released was from nearby Kennesaw State University, stating the suspect is 6'1", 170 pound Hispanic male with a darker complexion, last seen wearing a white t-shirt, work pants, and possibly a hat. This neighborhood has over 30 different empty rental houses because of our adjacency to KSU, that we don't know have they gone and checked those houses. We're all kind of afraid that it could be, he could be holed up in a house somewhere. Now, I contacted Cobb County Police today to learn more about the suspect, and they told me in a statement just moments ago that they don't have a confirmed description of the suspect, and they would not corroborate the information put out by Kennesaw State University. We're live tonight in Kennesaw. Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News. All right, still be waiting to hear more on that. Adam, thank you.